Hello chat, welcome back to the Pokemon Sun Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last stream... No, hey, hey, I'm going to do something crazy. We're not even going to talk about last stream, because there's no need. Cause you can't change the past, so why not just keep on going? And today, not only are we starting a new run, run number 19, but... This is the day that I set out a pact. We are not losing a single Pokemon today. Tomorrow can change. And if I do, didn't think about this till now. We're going to do the age old classic. If I lose a Pokemon, I gift one sub. And if I wipe, I gift five. So today, some of you might be lucky enough to get a nice sub from me. Without further ado, let's find out our starters. All right, starter time. Our three starters, and the best part, you get to vote. The Piplup, good Pokemon, good starter, great starter. Zorua, very cool Pokemon, very, very unique. It could do little tricks in the middle of battle. And we also have a Regirock. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you vote. Not going to skew the poll at all. Definitely not. Um, God. Unrelated. I love Piplup. Chat. <laughs> I love Piplup. So much. You know what I mean? Just so cool. Just the, honestly the coolest Pokemon I know. Personally. Um, man, if, if I... Uh, maybe the best starter ever. <clears throat> I mean, Piplup, it's... We love birds, right? Love them. Best. Best Pokemon. Hey. Ready? I already know where the end of this poll is going. All right. Regirock. Okay. And I can only ask you, chat, what what are we naming this Pokemon? This this Regirock. What great name can we It's gonna be Rock again, isn't it? No, it's Boomer. Okay, cool. I'll take that. Way better. Way better. We will not disrespect Ronk. This thing doesn't explode anymore? What? Since when? Who decided that? I think we're good. Saved. Joey? Wait, your name, wait. What's your name now? It's not Joey. Why did I call you Joey? Oh no. I'm relapsing to hard gold soul silver. How is that even possible? Mallory! Yikes. <laughs> this is the run. Uh, yeah, Pat, I don't know if you saw the last one. Looked pretty good. <laughs> it looked really good. I had, uh, Landorus, Rayquaza, and Arceus, and I lost to a Blaziken. But to be fair, in my defense, it was a totem-boosted Blaziken who who had its SOS was a Mega Blaziken. He brought his his cooler brother. Let me play for you, I swear to God. Pat, as much as I know that you are, are a better Nuzlocker than me, <clears throat> in every shape and form, I gotta milk this content. You know it, Pat. You and I both know it's December, baby. We gotta get them bucks. Them buku bucks, Pat. All right, guaranteed encounter. Wait, no, well, yes, and, and capture. Our Pokemon. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm down to start with two legendaries. I'm down to start with two legendaries. Sign me up! Wow, we caught it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We did it. All right, what do we name it? We'll name it Uzine again. Makes sense. The How Battle. Our second rival battle? I always forget. This is not the first, it's the second. And it's the harder one too. But... Okay. You know what? Take back what I was gonna say. I was gonna say something totally different. Pressure versus pressure, we're fine. Don't worry about it, because I have Bubble Beam. Okay, the 
did not do as much as I thought it would. Let's not. Well, let's not uh, focus on on. <clears throat> Are you getting hot in here? Yeah, it might not go for it. Wait, wait. There's a chance. Chat, my pee pee is in half. It's so sad. It's fine though. I swear if the next Pokemon's a flying type, I will eat my monitor. Oh. I just used my last rock throw. Do not send out a flying type. Please, do not send out a flying type. As long as it doesn't go for Surf. Or... Maybe, maybe a fighting move. We've done it. Against all odds! The comeback! And I didn't lose any money. I see this as a win. Alright! Trainer school. New encounter. Lucky punch. Held by a Chansey. 50% chance. Which means we have a 50% chance of finding Chansey. The other 50%, of course, we all know, is Stanler, the cousin of Chansey. Wow. I did it. Stanler. Caught. What a great... What a Pokemon. Am I right, chat? What a Pokemon. And would you believe it if I told you this one was claimed? Probably not. But it is... Arlie! That was the name. But yeah, so I went to a deaf school, and a lot of the people who... Well, not a lot of the people, it just happened to be on my floor from my my, my college dorm. There were a lot of people who were who were deaf. Um, but not everybody was. And there are a lot of things that you, you kind of learn. Like, getting people's attention's not easy without being rude. <laughs> but the most, the one that most people uh, deal with, especially considering that it's college, um, is when those people um, <clears throat> take time to do, do things with each other. Um, <clears throat> and I think on my floor, I had... Mm, I would say a solid, sol like, 30% of the people who were on my floor were deaf or hard of hearing. And <laughs> there was one specific day that I was getting ready to go to a class. And I go outside. I lock my, my room. <laughs> and everybody's just standing outside. I'm like, what's going on? They're like, oh, you haven't heard? I'm like, no. They're like, just come over here. And I go, and they're like, just let me know when you when you hear it. And I'm walking down the hallway with them. And then I hear it. I'm like, oh! They were uh, three rooms down from me. Three doors down. The band was actually living there. And... It was... <laughs> they did not know how loud they were. Um... <laughs> but... <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Somebody was doing something right. <laughs> what was the noise? Um... <clears throat> there, were, there were construction workers. They were, they were drilling in the other room. Yeah, specifically a jackhammer, yes. <laughs> Every day we stray farther from a PG chat. <clears throat> but it Don't be mega, don't be mega. It's mega, of course it's mega. Of course it's mega, why wouldn't it be? All right, fun run, everybody! Wrap it up! That's it! It's only the strongest Pokemon ever. It's fine, it's cool though, it's cool, because we wall it. We eat that! Rock throw. Just don't flinch. Just don't flinch and we're cool. <sighs> okay. It's always, it's always, yeah, okay. <laughs> yep! 
Okay, so how about let's just do an intimidate? I know Twister's special, I just assume he would use something else. What was going on, on the screen? Purple and spinny. Um My brain. Gigantic. Why didn't me first work? Why didn't me it's me! I go first! It's not you first, then me. What, what option do I have here? Th there's not... <laughs> this is the strongest Pokemon in the entire game. I literally have nothing I can do to this. <sighs> nothing outspeeds. Nothing is stronger. No super effective moves. Stop throwing? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> well, hey, chat. Hey, it's been fun. It's been fun. Boy, it's been fun. <laughs> I'm having a blast! You know, I was thinking earlier, like right before I was about to stream, I was like, I don't need to prepare any runs. But I'll do it anyways. <laughs> Good thing I did. All right. Run 20. The run of dreams. And I believe also the, the longest... The longest we've ever been, right? I mean, well, 20... 20 how, how long was Black? 21? I think? I don't know. We're almost there. We're almost going to beat our record, which is... It's a little sad, but hey, you know what? As long as we don't face a Mega Rayquaza, can't lose, right? Okay, we have the version exclusives Duosion and Gothita. <laughs> and we also have the fire type Typhlosion. I can only imagine which one you guys are gonna pick. Wait, no, the poles are broken! They stopped the count chat. They got DMCA'd! They got shut down! <laughs> what? <laughs> it's legit gone! <laughs> Look. Pole.ma. There it is. <laughs> it got dis. <laughs> well, hey, okay. Uh, hmm. You know, you guys were just gonna pick Typhlosion, so we'll just go with that. Hey, how? Listen. No ground. No water types. None! No rock either. But steel? Oh, ho, ho, ho. sign me up! Easy win. Do I have Ember? <laughs> uh, why is I, you know, I really hate that Typhlosion isn't always on fire. Wait, it just looks weird with his little n neck scars. This is it just me? Every other game, he's always just like, you know? All right. New encounter. Please. I beg you. Something spicy. I know I had a red rock. I know I had a sweet coon. I'll take one again. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I'll gladly take that. Easiest catch of my life. All right. Sylveon for the first time added to the team. All right. And we all know this one's claimed. to trains. There he is, right there. Any more death or deaf stories? What do you think my life is? <laughs> How many dead and deaf stories do you think I have under my belt? Like, not many. My house used to be a morgue, does that count? I don't know. Sure, that's a death story, I guess. Morgue house? So my my house, I used to live in an old house. It was built in the 1700s. <clears throat> like 17... Uh, 1790, I think. It was an old, old house. Obviously. Like, 
built just shortly after the Declaration of Independence. Old. And so, I used to live um, in that house, and next to it was uh, the actual, like, a uh, morgue. It was the new morgue. However, before that became the morgue, my house used to be the morgue. So, what they used to do is have, have funerals in my living, or my dining room. And in between was a church, obviously. So it was my old, old house, church, morgue. Okay, so, <laughs> I do actually have a dead story. Um, <clears throat> I remember one day, and this, I didn't really know what the place was, because I, they would have, like, occasional days where the parking lot would be filled up, but I didn't really connect the dots, and we're like, Oh, those are funerals they're having there. Um, my my backyard, it's so hard to explain exactly how my, my house was laid out, but I had, my backyard was really small, but it was also kind of connected to the church's backyard. Um, they were like, it was like house to house kind of thing. And so, I we shared, they didn't really care if I used the backyard, and this is back when I was like 10, so I would want to play outside and like, kick a ball or whatever and I remember one day I was playing outside I think it was like playing wiffle ball or something in my backyard and I remember seeing a guy open up like this little garage door thing and I, I swear to god he wa he wheels out a gurney with a person on it and just goes down like this little hill in front of me and just brings it into the other side of the building. And it took me a second. I was just like, I'm like, what is he push? Oh. I went in and told my mom. <laughs> I was like, I was like, mom, <laughs> there's a dead guy outside. Naturally, what would your expression be? Oh, that's not good. Let's find out. And that's the day I found out I live next to a morgue. Ghost Hunter story time? Uh, one time... We had the Ghost Hunter people come to our house. But they didn't, like, long story short, they just stayed there for a while, and they didn't find any evidence. Or not enough. For them to be like, alright, let's put it on the TV show. That was the end of, that's basically it. Um, uh, but... <laughs> I, you know, in my younger years, I still liked throwing for content. So I would do what I could to make sure that we had the spookiest house. The spookiest house on the street. And I remember one time, so they had a bunch of cameras in like all of the important rooms where we like would ever hear like creaking or like weird noises. And so <laughs> we would go uh, they set up all the cameras in all the rooms, and they had one in our guest room that was on, like, the top floor. And I... <laughs> swear to God. I saw the camera, and I... But it, it wasn't facing towards me. It was facing towards, like, the side of me. And so... I decided to get my cat. <laughs> what I did is I took my cat and, like, peeked it out in the corner of the camera. And the next day, when they went to go review the footage and come back, they were like, so what, what, did you find anything? They're like, there was one thing they did find, which was a couch moving. The couch, like, was s still, and then it shifted slightly, just a little bit, and then went back. I don't know if I have the video for it. I could find it. I can ask my mom to send it to me, maybe. I don't know if she has it on, like, a disc or something. This happened in, like, 2009. So probably not, but just have to take my word for it. And so <laughs> she's like, yeah, we found that. But also like your cat's kind of crazy. She just like popped out of nowhere. <laughs> and I was like, well, maybe the cat's possessed. And they're like, you're right. That's true. That's a good point. I'm like, yes, you'll be back. They didn't come back. Okay, how battle? I sense a win. Easy dub. I need to shut up. I just need to stop talking sometimes. Okay. 
like it's absurd. It's absurd how many just crazy things that happened just in the beginning of the game. I would like to know during the entirety of the last time, like the last successful run, there was like nothing after we finished the trainer school. But right when we come back to the trainer school, you know, we gotta fight a Xerneas. I think I can take, if light screen goes down, I can take it out. Uh, okay. It's gonna do so much. I have to. I don't have an option. I literally don't have an option. It's so dumb! And it's not even a level thing, because I'm higher level than the Xerneas! The next Pokemon better be grass. It better be grass. It has to be. It has to be a grass type. Or a bug. Bug grass. It's Primplup. Of course it's Primplup. Why wouldn't it be anything but Primplup? Crit. One shot. Clutch stone. Clutch stone. It was a crit! <laughs> of course it's a crit! I would have lived that too! This game is gonna be the bane of my existence, dude. Run! 21! This run is old enough to drink. And I'm going to need one if we don't win this run. The team of water Pokemon, Binacle, Jellicent, and Duat. All right. Yeah, thing's broken. All right, it's up. <clears throat> Each mod count the individual ones, twos, and threes. Alright. Because our, our Twitch polls are broken. We're just gonna do it this way. Um, I mean it looks like it's gonna be Duot just from just from the looks of it, but you know. I think that's the play. I think we're gonna go Duot. Okay, how? Just let me just let me slide to the trainer school. That's all I ask. I think that's fine. I think we'll be okay. just doesn't stop. It doesn't. It's like day in, day out. Clock in, chat! It's time to lose! I also didn't update the, the stream that we're on run 21. Please, please, put me out of my misery. Stop! <laughs> oh! Stop missing! Now I can't knock it out. Just knock me out. I don't care. I don't even care anymore. Uh, stop flexing on me. Just die. The fact that I won that is crazy. Insane. I think I've told this story, though. Have I? I've only told this story a few times to people. Um... And it's a it's a weird story because it's hard to explain from my perspective because I saw the tail end of the situation end. So this is back in my old house. And <laughs> all I remember is it was probably like two ish in the morning. It was during the middle of summer. And I hear all this noise coming from downstairs. And so I go outside my room, and then I go halfway down the stairs, and all I see are, are two police officers 
dragging a man out of my house. And I didn't really know what was going on, obviously, because that's a really that's a really strange thing to just like happen, right? And conveniently, it's like some twisted movie. The the police stop and they're dragging this guy by his knees. He's like like this, and they're locking arms with him. And they stop at the stairs, and he turns and looks at me, and he's like. Have a nice day. And they just keep walking and take him outside. And I was like, huh. I kind of need some the sauce for this one. I need the little a little explanation. Because I'm a little bit terrified. Come to find out. I used to live like a mile away from like an in, a mental institution. This guy broke out of the mental institution. And he was walking down the street and he saw that my the lights were on outside my house. And <laughs> and so what he did is he's like, well, that's yeah, I mean, don't mind if I do. And we left our front door unlocked because we don't expect killers to come to our house. And so he just walked in and sat down. That's it. Didn't rob the place. He just went in and and I would like to know he walked in at I think it was like 12. So he like broke into our broke into our house at 12 o'clock and he sat down at the island in our kitchen for two hours straight. And we had like cameras. He didn't move at all. He just sat there like this. Two hours straight. Did not move an inch. And so, uh, my dad woke up and he went down the stairs to go check, like, because he's he wanted to go to the bathroom, but he realized outside, like on the second floor, he was like, oh, the lights are on. I should probably go turn those off. So he goes downstairs and sees this guy. And naturally, you call the police. So he called the police. And I would like to note this guy was not like just a regular guy. Obviously, he broke in. But he also was wearing a completely green suit. Like a leprechaun. This man was dressed like a leprechaun. And he said specifically to the... When the officers asked him why he broke in, he said... I was there to meet the president. And I would also like to preface that this man went to the mental institution because he was walking down the street and he randomly stabbed a guy. So all I'm saying, kind of lucky to be here because there was nothing stopping that man from just killing everybody in our house. Okay. Another encounter, another day, another day, another encounter chat. not even randomized what's the point it's not even the stuff <sighs> run 22 is looking real good we're about to break a record chat we are going farther than we ever have it's not rare shut up it's not rare at all <laughs> okay what do, what do i name this pokemon what fantastic name could you possibly come up with a grubbin Rare. So rare. Just want to let you know, can't evolve that until we reach the Pony Gauntlet. Not Pony Gauntlet, was it the Vast Pony Canyon? So that's fun. Third time's the charm! Twisted Spoon? Are we getting... Why did I think Palkia? That's not who holds spoons, that's Alakazam. But I'll take a Palkia. That's not anything close to either one of those. Cool. Pancham. Added to the team. I don't think we've had this Pokemon before. I will note, this thing is going to be not fun to evolve. It will definitely not be fun to evolve, but <laughs> let's just hope we find a Dark-type. 
What do we name it? Evolves a level 32 with a dark move. Or a dark type Pokemon in the party. Panda. I'm not going to name it Palkia. I'm not going to do that. Okay. It's teacher time. It's time to teach her. Flipping the rules. Flirt Kimberly. I, ju I just fought one of these earlier and I lost to it. I hate this game! It's fine. It's cool. I have. Pancham is literally useless for this Pokemon. Absolutely useless. Not a single move can hurt it. Um. You know what? I'm gonna sack. I don't even care. We're sacking. My rare. It's been an honor. Not really. But it's fine, because we have. Do what? And I can water gun, calling it. Fain attack is gonna do exactly 13 damage. I water gun. It's then gonna roll for 12. Okay, you went for Confuse Ray. Never mind, I'm just a liar. I'm just a liar. But when it does attack, it will roll for 13. Putting me into dangerous territory. Okay, you're just gonna go for Spite. And you're just gonna make it sound like I'm a dummy. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Ah, okay, one down. One for one. Just give me a fire type, please. Altoy. I can work with that. I- WE'RE DOING IT! Against all odds! Only had to use one singular Pokemon to do it, but we've done it! We have beat... The training school. It's now time... For another encounter. And it's gonna be a really good one. It's a guarantee. It's an absolute guarantee. It has to be, because then we'll lose if it's not. Right? That only makes sense. Yeah, see, that's perfect. Um, little issue. I don't think... Can we take you down? Safely? You have Dragon Breath? Save. Hey, this could work. Has like a 45 catch rate, I think. Mega Altaria added to the team. An amazing Pokemon. I'm down to go with the OG. It may be fluffy, but it's still bald. That's a fact. All right. With our new Mega. We can't lose. It's not possible. I kind of forget what moves it has, or I kind of just don't know. I can't believe it only has rap and sing. But it could. It definitely could. So we'll find out. Rich Kid Marshall. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. It's time to go down. You will now lose. Oh, I Fury Attack. Down. Okay. Which means we now get to fight Elima. And I'm gonna need your help, chat. Collectively, we need to use our big brains to take down this trial master or whatever you are. I don't really know what you're, you kind of just run the first den. You don't really do anything else in the story, but you are a fisherman, which means he's got fish to catch. You know what that means? Oh, manager. What a treat. Never mind. Okay, I don't like that. Uh, let's go into... Uh, there's not really much we can... How, how do you miss? How?
How do you miss sound? Okay. <sighs> just... There's no reason. There is no reason. That's just cheating. That's not even fair. This thing is such a pain. It's so frustrating. Just go to bed and stay in bed. I'm getting walled, but I'm literally going to lose this one Pokemon. I'm going to make the risky play. I'm going into Duat, and if it wakes up, I don't know what to tell you. Because this thing does so much more damage. Wow. Wow. Wow, that did nothing. Okay, never mind. <sighs> I can live one more. I just put it to sleep. And then I go into Pancham and work up. How about that? Is that the only other option I have? Live on one. Nope. Crit. It was a crit. Of course it was a crit. Why wouldn't it be? Hey. I can't, I can't beat my record. I can't go to run 22 chat. It's not gonna happen. Just work up. Stun every Pokemon I have! It's almost at a Mega Drain, so that's good. But that does so much damage and you were full health now. Yup. And I'm paralyzed. I'm paralyzed, of course I am. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, we're having fun. We are having fun. That was a one workup. I, this thing sucks. I can't, I'm so out of expression. I just lost to a vile plume. How does that even happen? How, how is a mega Altaria not take down a vile plume? Well, it's been done. Today, let it be known, a new record has been set. <laughs> run 22 is imminent. I have, this, this is the longest run we've ever had. Most runs in the history of my Nuzlocke in career. 22 runs. It isn't? Oh, it's run 21 plus one. True. So technically, we are still not breaking the record. But for YouTube, for like the clickbait kind of portion of it, we had a new record. A new record was set today. Pog. Please, chat. It's essential. New record today. And tomorrow, we're going to come back. We're gonna, we're not gonna heal them. We're gonna take on run 22. And hopefully luck will be on our side.